Okay, so the world is our studio and I just pulled up to, well, I kind of have to make it down this little canyon here, but there's a river down there and it's a beautiful sunny day. The river is pretty high and I'll show you what it looks like when I get down there because I think I'm gonna need this hand. Okay, so I hit it down a little incline over there and uh, headed this way. You can see there's a tiny little creek down there. I think you can see it. And then another little drop here down to the river. But look at this, guys. Isn't this incredibly beautiful? So nice. Okay, so I'm down here and this is beautiful, but standing where I am, even though I've got the shade, uh, I'm looking around and I'm thinking about what I would paint and I'm not sure. I'm actually thinking about crossing this little river, this little part of the river right here. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna walk across the river with my shoesies. Go. Let's see what we can discover here on the other side. There's this little island out here. As long as I don't fall in with all my equipment and gear, it will be just fine. Looks like I made it. I guess I think I made it. Did I make it? I made it. All right. Cool. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so there is a ton of beautiful... Uh, interesting things to paint around here but I'm actually gonna turn around and paint this right here because I believe that the Sun is gonna go down that way and I think I'm gonna stay and paint something down the river uh, later uh, but I really like the way that the these trees across the river I think I can come up with an interesting vertical composition there so the sun is gonna come in and out of the clouds and uh, we'll have to deal with that a little bit. But what I'm gonna try to do is kind of lock in a design and go with it. So gotta get everything set up and then we'll start painting. So what I think I wanna do is kind of paint these trees that are bigger up here. And then there's some of these smaller ones. And what I'm thinking is there were different times when the light was coming through and kind of giving a little bit of backlight on some of these against some of the darker back trees. So that's my idea is to, it's gonna be a vertical painting and I'm gonna try to highlight some of those foreground trees, the background trees, and maybe some clouds there um, off to the right top corner. Let's see what we can come up with here. I'm gonna grab some red, even though that really has nothing to do with this scene. Mix in a little bit of ultramarine blue. What I wanna do is just jot down the idea of the composition here to start. And hopefully it'll be something kind of worthy of following through with if it's not if because I'm not doing a thumbnail sketch right now I'm just this is kind of my thumbnail right here uh, but if it's if it ends up being not so great I'll just kind of paint right over it and move on but hopefully hopefully it will be all right so what I'm thinking here is I kind of want to leave some room. I, I like these clouds. There's some really nice clouds over here. So I'm leaving some room for, and they're going to be coming up. You can see they're at an angle. Well, I don't know if you can see, but they're at an angle over here. And then there's some smaller, some of the smaller uh, trees and little things that come up. Changes. Now here are my colors. I've got titanium white. This is a Naples yellow and a little bit of gray mixed in. So it's a little bit of subdued, more neutral. This is cadmium yellow light. Of course, you can see I've been dipping into this. This is cadmium red. 
or actually it might be naphthol red. I think it's naphthol red. This is ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, and under here I've got my phthalo blue, which I probably will break out. Uh, but with this limited palette here, I can make lots and lots of great colors and have lots of fun. See what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. I want to have a little bit of a little bit of room kind of in the value scale for some of this lighter foreground. So what I mean is I'm going to come in and bring in some of these smaller trees, smaller bushes, and they're going to stand out a little bit against some of the bigger trees that are in the background. Okay, so here we are. There's the scene right back there that we were painting. This was a blast, and I hope that you had as much fun as I did. And let's take one more look at this. I mean, because this is just absolutely beautiful. Everything here, look at it. And you can hardly see, this is what I'm saying. That camera is not doing justice to what I'm looking at over there. I might turn around and see if I can show you one more time, but good times here.